Hello guys, I am Outrage, the owner of Outrage Games, and this is my first tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to make a simple combo system in Unity. This system is beginner friendly. There are many tutorials out there that are more complex than this one, but we are going to keep it simple. This will be the final result. So, let's get started. This will be our scene, and this is the player. I have already created 3 attack animations, this is the first one, the second and the third. I've also made an idle animation of him. Now I'm going to make a simple C sharp script called combo hits that will work as a counter and I'm going to attach it to the player object. Let's open it. First of all, I'm going to create 4 variables. One for the animator component, a counter for the hits, a float that will check the last time the player attacked, and the maximum delay your combo has. In the start function, I'm going to set the anim variable equal to the animator component of the player. In the update function, I make sure that the number of clicks will be set to zero again after the max time has passed from the player's last click. Now, I will make the input for the attacks to be left mouse button, but you can put any button you want. Then I set the last time clicked variable to be equal to the time since the start of the game every time the player clicks. Don't forget to add the counter that we want. Now, if the counter is equal to 1, the boolean parameter attack1 will be equal to true. You will see the use of it in just a second. Now we need to also make sure that the maximum value of the counter will be 3, because we only have 3 attacks. In the last step of this script, we are going to make 3 very simple factions that we will use as animation events in the end of every animation. Let's name the first one Return1. One. What this is gonna do is check whether we have pressed the left mouse button more than once. If so, it is going to set the attack2 parameter equal to true. If not, it is going to set the attack1 parameter equal to false and reset the counter and the player is going to change to the idle state. Now let's do that for the second attack too. In the last attack we only need to make sure that every parameter is set to false and that we reset the counter so that it doesn't get stuck. Now, we can see that the counter is working, but we need to make the animation transitions too. First of all, we need to disable the loop time in every animation except the idle state and then create the parameters, attack 1, 2 and 3. And now, I will make the transitions in an obvious way, as you see in the video. Remember to disable exit time too, or the attacks won't be responsive. Now I will add the events in every animation by clicking here. Then choose the right function for each one.
As you see here, the first animation plays again after the second one, because we didn't reset attack1 variable after the second attack. So, I will also add the return3 function in the add animation. The last thing I'm going to do is increase the max combo delay time, because sometimes the third attack does not happen. You can adjust it as you want. You can even increase the number of attacks, just make sure that you keep the transitions nice and clean. Well, that was it. Thanks for watching. You can find the script in the description. Be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions.